Okay guys, we're going to be bench testing this after you install your clutches and everything. You want to make sure your seals and everything is working correctly. So what you're going to need is your pump. So, you want to take your pump. Right here, we ain't even went through this pump yet. But, the pump was good and the transmission was poor and it just didn't have no uh, shift from second and third gear. So, got to love them soft, soft cut seals, my chick, go on so easy. I'd prefer the Teflon, but it makes it easier, especially if you're a noob with a scoff cut. But, what we got here is we got an input drum now on a pump. Now come down here, we got a line of holes. Right here you got where your filter goes in. You come over one hole, two hole, and it's pretty much this hole right here. It's this hole. We add air right here and it will engage the clutches so you need an air nozzle with a we come over to the third hole to the left you can just put your nozzle in there just butt it up to it hit the button as you can see your clutches is moving try not to knock the camera over just anyway as you can see, our clutches did move up and down. You can watch it if you look across on the video. You can watch a fluid come up right around in here. That is because of that right here. These right here are pretty much not no good. They doing the job, but they ain't doing the job as they should. Which causes problems, a lot of problems in transmissions. So these little guys right here will be getting replaced. As you can see. And we will be replacing them with Teflons. But this video, that'll be another video. But this video is pretty much on uh, just bench testing your drum. Since I found where it's cut at. I think it's enough to. There we go. We won't be using them anymore. You can see they they uh they hard and they got brittle and they just not what they should be. Now, if you want to know what I'm talking about on the Teflon deal, they come in your new kit. So. I will be showing a video on how to install them on your pump when we get to it. If not, if I don't do it on this uh, this build, I'll do it on the next build. Um, but I hope that helps you out, at least uh, bitch testing, make sure your seals and everything working like it should. Which they are, which is a good thing here. It just like I said, we're losing a little bit right around in here. So... What's the next step is, pretty much, is uh, moving on to your other input drum, or if you done did that, moving to your pump or whatever. But, uh, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, i see you then. Take care, and bye-bye now.